so you've got sort of gear, but with weapon is maybe not so good then, is that it? Well, with summon weapon's fine, like we, because we've not long got the spider stuff. And the spiders are alright. Yeah. It's just magic weapon. Like, I, I just got the, mag the laser rifle off of the E. Wall of flesh thing with Bob. Which is more damage than what the B gun does. Because while the B gun does low damage, it's lots of hits all at once. So I don't know if it's really any better per se. I'm going to do some investigation. I can uh, fill this in afterwards, but. That's fine. I, I will just guard up top so nothing drops down on you. We don't understand how this is still corrupted here. It's just dirt here. Ah, this what is this? Ebonstone. Okay, here's some Ebonstone. Is this where it's coming from then? Well, I think that is corruption related, right? So. Yeah. But I'm fairly. So maybe it's this little lump that's like here. You got a tumor. It's not a tumor. Cut it out! Excise it! Right. Well, that, that I dug away, but it's still. still music here. It might be there's just some stone. Like. But I'm fairly deep still, so I don't know why the music is still, like, even up there. Uh. I mean, I've still got a corruption background, and I assume this is corruption music. I, don't, I never paid too much attention to the music, to be perfectly honest with you. This game's got some of the greatest music in games. Sure. And I've heard that before. I've just never paid the best, uh, you know, the most attention to it. Yeah. Like, I loved, I loved Original Sin's music. Original Sin 1 and 2? Well, 2 mostly. 1 was one was good, but 2 was a masterpiece. And then, like... And they've done the same again with BG3 soundtrack. Like, BG3 soundtrack, phenomenal. But most games, to be honest, I don't really pay attention to the music on. Hmm. Like, I'd rather just mute it and go listen to my own stuff. Fair. Yeah. Now, I will admit I will probably not do that if I'm saying if I'm playing like a big AAA RPG or something because normally the music's there for the cutscenes to really sort of you know enhance them. Yeah. But otherwise, yeah, just listen to my own my own shenanigans and uh, See, I've, play my day away. I've dug out 250 Evanstone down here. Mm-hmm. Ah, hey, aha. Okay, I can see. There's a little bit on this side. I can see clearly now the rain has gone. Because I, I think for like it to be a biome, there needs to be like, f f is it maybe 400 blocks in a certain radius? Hmm. <laughs> Ah, oh, yeah, it's all Evanstone under here. How big is it? I'm, I'm doing, like, environmental work here, you know. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to find out if it says anywhere on the wiki about, change, like, you know, how when a biome changes from one to the other. I think it's basically just, a, like, you need, like, 400 or something blocks. Because we could make an artificial, like, biome for these corruption areas. By just putting enough of them there. Oh, no, I know. I remember I made... Um, in one of the worlds... Nah. I did, well, it might have been a joint effort, but we made a... Like a like a, a, a multi-tiered underground fishing area. Yeah. That was different biomes. To make the, the fish quests easier to do. See, here... I've come across actual stone... So, this is okay, so then where the hell is the more? 
the ebb and stuff to make this go all poopy. Here's a little bit more, okay. It's daytime, by the way, so... Ah, yeah. Well, fun. I don't know how long it's been daytime. I think it's about to hit midday, to be honest. Ah, oh, shall it come up? Now that we have the guide back. I'll, um, I'll deal with the torches later. Traveling much enough. Uh, uh, there's a blind I've got over here. Oh, did, uh, did my mind manage to get something to drop out of one of these? Yeah. That's fine. Um, you, you say it was a queen slime? Yeah, so it's a queen slime boss. It might be a bit hard, but we can give it a go. Yeah, let's give it a go. Um, I guess we'll, we'll check out the traveling merchant first, but then we'll give it a go. Yeah, the gentleman scientist. Okay. What the hell is this? A birdie rattle. And a blue chicken egg. Summons a baby harpy. Alright. Ah, he sells the code, the the yo yo. I think I'm pretty sure he's the only one that sells that yo yo. Yeah, I'm gonna throw this thing and change the world. One one person can change the world. Yeah, go on them. What happened? Did they just change the background. It did. Okay, we live in a forest. Well, I mean, sure. <laughs> All right. Quick, quick stack some stuff. Okay. Oh, actually, I should need to fair. I am full. Where did I uh, put fuck the it. thing? Maybe I piggy banked it. Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, zero prep. Queen slime. First, first kill. One shot. Four twenty. Uh. Right. I think it flies around. So that's fine. Are you ready? It's not fine. But, but boy, well, we will deal with it. Why can't I do it? What is this? Consumable. Oh, maybe it's only at night time? Or is it a hallowed? It might be so you can only find it in the hallowed, maybe. Uh, I don't know. You want to look it up? Yeah, I mean, you can do uh, If you like. Queen slime. Do we even have a hallowed barn? A oh, hallow themed the boss. Yeah. Uh, fighting Queen Slime is optional and is not required for game progression, much like pre-hard mode counterpart King Slime. Uh, can reward useful items. She has exclusive music. In fact, can we... Um... Uh, unless otherworldly music is enabled, at which point Boss 2 otherworldly will play instead. I'm wondering, can we buy, like, hallowed seeds already? Where the hell's the dryad girl? She's over here. Shop. Uh, yeah, so she has to be sh uh, summoned inside a hallowed biome. So we can buy hallowed seeds. So... Okay. One thing I'm thinking we could do, potentially, is if we make the side with our house into the hallow, and then the side closer to your house stay, stays the forest, then that will always be a surface biome fishing area. And then we yeah. might be close enough here for it to be kind of the hallow, in which case we could just fight the boss here. Okay. That maybe works. I don't know, does the boss go absolutely mental if we... Uh... Leave the hallowed, I don't know. Yeah. Why can't I just make this be green? <sighs> it's not like... I need to like. Ah, oh, it can't be on the grass then, okay. So it, it was spread, it was spread to the grass, it just uh, couldn't be planted on top. Fair enough. Right, where's that lady? Buy a couple more seeds. And then, you know, the Hallowed is a nice area. It's pretty cool, I think. Yeah, I like the Hallowed. Very, very uh, sparkly. Yeah. Um. And cutesy. Well, minus the Hallowed Mimics, they're not so cutesy. 
Uh, no, Might, Sight, Fright. Oh, isn't that the main? Isn't, isn't, isn't Might, Sight, and Fright from the mechanical bosses? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so we'll have to. We'll probably, I don't think we're ready for those yet. Maybe Cthulhu, but I. I think we already tried Ske uh, Skeletron already and got absolutely whooped. Yeah. That's a good point. What can I make out of this crystal box? Mm. Face sabers. Yeah, the harp rainbow rod. Yeah, I can't do anything. Crystal storm. Can make crystal storm. That's a fairly decent one. We might actually have enough to make it already. I oh, know mm -hmm. we, we need a couple more uh, souls of light. That's pretty easy. God damn it, this is all flipping. My underground fishing hole is also uh, <laughs> corruption. Yep. Uh, oh, can I go uh, further down? It might be worth uh, when we can. Clearing Plantera out and and just like using getting the Clintaminator and starting to purge the land a bit. Yeah, I think it's expensive though. It is. I've. I, I mean, I've got a plat right now. Oh well, check out Mr. Rich. Well, while I have been dying a lot, I've been remembering to store my gold quite frequently. It's all corrupted here. All corrupted. That's not what I like. Uh. I hear you digging away. Yeah, so I've tunneled like a decent amount. I've dug out like probably five or six hundred uh, Ebonstone. But I still don't see why it's like dirty. And by dirty I mean corrupted. Because even if we had the um the Clementator or whatever it was, mm hmm we'd still need to find the corrupted blocks to cleanse them. To be fair, it's got a super long range on it, so But can it hit can it hit through blocks? Yeah, it shoots through blocks. It 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 doesn't. It doesn't get blocked by terrain. It'll literally just shoot through everything. Uh, you can quite easily destroy entire biomes in a very short, like multiple biomes, in a very short amount of time with a contaminator if you're not careful. So clearly, I'll be the one doing the contaminating. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Why? Well, you sound like you don't trust me, Tom. <laughs> I like you can trust me. I, I, I think you can't do anything bad with the Clementator, can you? Well, I mean, I could turn the entire world into a hallowed world. Oh, well, so you can use it to spread stuff as well as just remove? Yes. Ah, uh, well. Yeah. Yeah. You can, you can either purify it into normal terrain, or if you have... It takes ammo. Like, there's, a, there's different ammos for different biomes in memory serves. Um, but yeah, you can you can literally make the world as you want with it. It just you know you're gonna burn through a lot of resources doing so. See, is it is this corrupted grass or something? Because I can't tell. Because maybe yeah, this is come down and take a look. Is this kind of like purple? This something? is corruption. Yeah. So maybe that's where the music's coming from as well, because I've been digging out all the blocks, but I've not been like stomping this off. This is like we're saving the the rainforest, basically. Like, <laughs> like, like, yeah. like when you see those videos of people like pulling out loads of trash from the ocean and stuff. Mm-hmm. Basically, what we're doing here. Yep, this is us. Well, that is us. Uh. Heroes. Some might say, you know. That was a really long worm. That's what she said. Wow. That's what she said. 
<laughs> oh god. No, don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's quite a lot of it gone, that grass. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's coming, it's growing back there. In some spots. Yeah, so there's, there's now and then in the, the dirt, there's like one random piece of grass. Like corrupt grass, but I think it, I don't think it can get to the surface unless it's actually like exposed to it. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's pretty much all the grass gone from here. Well, I'll um, cover this up temporarily and then check back later if it's growing. There's that cloak thing, I don't know if that's any uh, good for anything you can make. I'll have to take a look. <laughs> Towards the guide, yes! It's spreading down here, you motherfucking grass. I'm like taking it away for like two minutes and then I can see it spreading in multiple areas. Mm hmm. I swear this is growing out of like nowhere, some of this grass. Oh, maybe it was there. I mean, this tiny bit of the arena counts as hallowed. If you wanted to, to see what happens when you summon the queen boss. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's, let's do it. Oh, yeah. So, I did get a magic dagger. As well, that was another mimic. Another 300 Ebonstone block taken out there. Cleaning up rainforest. Well, I'll grab a uh, thing. Do we have any potions that we can use and not immediately die with? Cool potions. Do we have any iron skin? Nah, uh, something we probably should want to do at some point. Okay. But that's a lot of, uh, you know, work. Right, uh, you eating your food? Etten? Oh yeah, this is hallowed, isn't it? Yeah, cool beans. All right, you ready? Yep. So go that way. How much else have got? Okay, not like a super ton, but oh yeah, we could have set up the uh, heart statue thing. Summoning little slimes? Yeah. It is. Oh, yeah, spiders doing it there. Okay, now it's flying. Yeah, uh, when it's flying, it can it can no longer teleport to us. It can teleport? Yeah. I think, I'm pretty sure it has like a teleport like the king slime does if we get too far away. Uh -huh. So a lot of things flying everywhere. I'm taking like hits. I tell you yeah, what, a nurse. I'm gonna go and see if I can heal quickly. Ooh, let me look. Heal. Okay, well I'm in the little. Oh well, the nurse just fucking ripped it all. And I'm in the fucking house, so that was a really bad idea. Six k. Survive. I'm ten seconds and I'm back in. I'm back in. Running over. Slow as f. Oh, I'm dead. She's coming for you. Right. 
Me go. So she. Uh, oh Jesus Christ. Yeah. Okay, she died. Woo! Very nice. Oh, now that got the just desserts achievement. Very nice. <laughs> I died. Well, at least we got the loot. I think we would have done that easily if we had just set the uh, um, heart statues up. But I kind of forgot about them. Let's see if we get any like sick loot. In fact, I'm going to move those uh, statues over now. Uh, where did we have these set up? I don't know, actually. I got a... Okay, so the expert item is a volatile gelatin. Releases volatile gelatin periodically that damages enemies. I got 67 sparkle swine balloons. I got a gelatinous pillion. Summons a right. Oh, it's, a, it's the mount item. Oh, nice. And what else did I get? The hook of dissonance. Oh, let's see what that hook does. Ah, it teleports you to the point of the hook. That's kind of cool. I like that. Uh, we don't have a magic mana thing, do we? No, but this uh, this should help quite a lot of those statues, just kicking out those uh, hearts quite yeah. often. What did I get? I also, I also got the Crystal Assassin hood and pants. I didn't get the body though. Ah, uh, I got the body and I got the pants. Nice, nice. It does 10% chance to save ammo, okay. It does a few things. The pants do melee speed, oh, yeah. the helmet does mana cost. And crit chance. It's a bit of a weird one. What's this mount? Oh, okay. Yeah. What yeah it's this thing. Does it fly? A little bit. I can, um, I'll get the other one. We might be able to beat it twice. I'm trying to keep an eye on where the, like, ads are as well, because they, they were a bit of a pain in the bum last time. Although my bubble gun doesn't really help. Where is yeah, it? I was gonna say. Oh, there's a fucking ad on me. That's why I'm getting my bum pounded by. It. Yeah, that's really bouncy. Those things. How many bejeebus? Oh, I'm gonna die. Do that. 4K. Survive. Survive! I don't know if I will. Just avoid dying. 20 seconds, holy shit. Holy! No, oh, I... Well... There's too much bouncing shit everywhere. Yeah, it's a... Maybe we need to fight her, like, up on a high sky, pla uh, sky platform. So the bouncing stuff doesn't yeah. really reach us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's something it can fall through, and but we yeah. can still stand on. Well, like the platforms, I guess. Yeah. I don't know if flower boxes would work, like the flower bed. Probably. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. I expected that to be harder, really. Yeah. Well, we know we can beat it, which is unfortunate. And also, it's not like we have wings or anything good. 